All right, today we're going to check top 10 best things to do in Manila, Philippines. Tour guide 2024. All right. Welcome to, Welcome to Manila. Welcome to Manila. Manila is located on the island of Luzon. It is one of the most densely populated cities. Tell me about it. It's known for its incredible history, lively street scenes, and diverse culture, and of course, for being home to some of the friendliest people on the planet. People here so far have been extraordinary friendly. Everybody's greeting you with smiles and everything. Just That's like, a fact. Especially the foreigners. In this and vloggers. Video, we're going to show you the top things that you can't miss the next time you're here in Manila. One of the most popular things to do here in Manila is to come visit Fort Santiago in the yes. walled city of Intramuros. Intramuros is one of the oldest districts here in Manila and dates back to 1571. The fort is open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and only costs 75 pesos. Yeah, I've actually visited here and it's very beautiful. I have some cool drone shots and I like the, the Lego the, the Lego thing they have inside of there that the shows the different structures of the Philippines, like the known structures. So I've been here. To get in. Definitely want to see. Manila, being a city with a rich history and strong Catholic influence, is home to several beautiful churches and cathedrals that you might want to visit. As you're walking through Intramuros neighborhood, don't miss all the churches and cathedrals. We're right here in front of Manila Cathedral. It's so beautiful with all the ornate wow. details. I missed that one. A short walk away from the Manila Cathedral, the San Augustine Church has stood as one of the pillars of the Catholic and colonial past for more than five centuries. The next stop you can't miss is Rizal Park, right here in the heart of Manila. The massive park is named... This park is actually really nice. It's just so many things to do and see in this park. I went to this park because I don't know if you guys remember, uh, what was it? Flying, Flying Jeff? I can't remember his name. Flying Tom? He was actually in Manila when I was in Manila. And uh, I watched his videos and he recommended going to this park. And like, I would definitely say you guys need to visit this park. Named after the national hero. Jose yeah, I remember Rizal. this. It's it, home to historical. Those guards are like always standing there. I remember going there. I'm like, do these guys not get a break? They were constantly standing the whole time. Monuments, lots of greenery and food stalls. There's such a great atmosphere here. There's so many people here enjoying on a Sunday. It's a really great place. Is it still free though? After the hustle and bustle of the city. There's some great museums to choose from while you're here in Manila. We decided to go to the National Museum of Natural History. The National Museum of Natural History in Manila is a modern museum dedicated to showcasing the natural wonders of the Philippines. It features a wide range of exhibits covering biodiversity, geology, and environmental conservation. One of its main oh, that's cool, actually. is the Tree of Life, a stunning centerpiece that rises through the museum's atrium. We really wow. enjoyed the architecture, seeing many of the animal displays, including the Philippines. Hey, that's something I need to go see next time. Skeleton and the famous alligator named Lolong. Lolong, yes. This crocodile. This thing was alive in 2011. That is blowing my mind. And he died in 2014. The longest crocodile to ever be caught. That thing is massive. We also loved how interactive the museum was. Whether you're a nation, is it, though? a student, or simply curious about the wonders of the Philippines, this museum is definitely worth a visit. Did they tell us the price? I don't think they told us the price, right? After some sightseeing, head over to the SM Mall of Asia. It is the fifth biggest mall in the world and the biggest mall here in the Philippines, and they have their own sports arena, which just blows. Yeah, I visited here. This is a must. Wow, it is so crazy. I don't know people like saying the Philippines is a third world country. Honestly, these malls in the Philippines are way bigger than any mall here in Canada, bro. Like, honestly, Eden Center is probably like one of the biggest malls. And SM Mall and Mall of Cebu, SM Cebu as well, makes Eden Center look small, okay? Because that's how big these malls are in uh, Manila. I wonder if they're going to show the new mall. There was a new mall when I was in Manila last time, like a couple of years ago, three years ago now. They were building the new mall in New Manila. I wonder if they got that finished. Yes, uh, a yellow, a yellow mall. It's a yellow mall. Put in the comments down below if they finish that. Let me know. Crazy here, right? Busy. Busy. So busy. Even if shopping isn't at the top of your list for things to do, it is definitely worth checking out.
After resting in the air-conditioned mall and resetting with some food, it's time to walk along the boardwalk. Hopefully they tell us about uh, Okado. Okado. Okado? Okada. Okada definitely should be on the list, right? And it's Sunday, so everybody's out. There's this brings back some memories, man. I remember this. Really great. Just standing there with the Kiefer Believers. Actually, they brought me here. So San Miguel, Pale Pepper. And my buddy Jeff. Red Jeff, horse. love you. I love all the families hanging out. There's a bunch of rides for the kids. I remember going to this. It was pretty cheap. I don't remember this fireworks. Another thing to do here is visit Manila Ocean Park. We bought our tickets online, so we had to wait in line when we get here. They were $13 a person. I think they're about $15 here. Yeah, that's, that's cheap compared to uh, in like Canada, like 45, 60 bucks to get in. Your money definitely goes a lot further in the Philippines. The aquarium is home to 14,000 marine creatures, all indigenous to the Philippines and Southeast Asia. The main attraction is this walkway with an incredible underwater view. We saw sharks, stingrays, and so many different types of fish. This place is definitely worth checking out, especially if you have kids. There are so many great exhibits at the Manila Ocean Park. They have yeah. a penguin exhibit. Because we have something like this here in Canada called Ripley's Aquarium. And just to get into Ripley's Aquarium, it's like $45. And you don't get a get a show like this. You Sure, you get all the, the underwater stuff, but you don't get like this much things. So for 13 bucks, that's a steal. A whole section on creepy crawlies which display spiders, lizards, snakes, and lots of other reptiles. The jellyfish were our favorite exhibit. It was so mad. The, the camera is really good here. I'm watching this. Dance with the music and changing colors with the lights. These guys are doing a good job. This is a really good video. Another thing to do here in Manila is explore the markets. This morning we're exploring Salcedo Market. This market's only on Saturday from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. Salcedo Market takes place at Jamie Velasquez Park. It reminded us of a higher-end farmer's market and offers a vibrant atmosphere where locals and tourists gather to enjoy a wide array of food, produce, artisanal products, and handicrafts. Everyone was super friendly and we got to meet so many new people and try several yummy dishes. Food are freaking delicious. That's yummy. That camera quality. Honestly, crisp. I like it. Get Captain, all the beautiful this smiles. The Agbo Street Food Market. This market opens around 5 p.m. and gets very busy. There are so many yummy things to try. We had amazing grilled scallops, fried rice, and a delicious Filipino snack called dynamite. This is so good. Dynamite. And so many other yummy treats such as hollow yeah. hollow. Hollow The bean that mix mix. There are also some more adventurous options if you want to try something a bit outside of your comfort zone. What is that? that looks like worms. Yeah, it looks like worms. Way better than I thought. We highly recommend going to a basketball game if you get the opportunity. Basketball is the most popular sport here in the Philippines. Is it? And we went to a PBA game at the Mall of Asia Arena. You can buy tickets the day of or book your tickets in advance online. All right, we're in. All right, just got our seats. Here we are. Oh, you have to use a cell phone. Not allowed to the bring cameras. So passionate and it was so fun interacting with the locals. Last but not least is to go explore a local neighborhood. We love getting to know a city outside of the typical tourist sites and getting insight into local life. The Philippines is home to some of the friendliest and most welcoming people that we have ever met and we loved spending time walking around our area in Mandaluyong, trying local snacks this chicken's so good. and getting to know everyone. It was definitely a highlight of our trip. Yeah. Beautiful guys, thank you so much. Ego, nice to meet you, Ego, huh? Oh, that's cute, dog. Thank you. Have a great day, huh? <laughs> the local people are so friendly and accommodating. Couldn't ask for a better start here. Super excited to show you guys the rest of the series. Love you all. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next okay. video. Of course, there are so many more things to do in Manila, but these are the things that we enjoy doing, and hopefully this video gives you some ideas for your next trip to Manila. Yeah, this video will definitely show me the things that I miss in the Philippines and things that I, I, I kind of want to go do when I get back there, man. Like, the Philippines is beautiful. And this is why I really enjoy the Philippines. It's the people. The people of the Philippines, they're always welcoming, and they love the fact that people show off their country. And they love introducing pe new people to new things. And they'll show you around. So this is why, honestly, 
They're welcoming people, as I say, and they f make you feel like family. All right, so anyways, that's the end of the video, guys. If you guys enjoyed that, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to go check these guys out. They're pretty cool. Link in the description, all right?